Hey, Linda, I'm at my wit's end here. Are you around? Can you please answer me? Hey, Margaret, what's up? Is something bothering you? Something bothering you is an understatement. It's your brother, Matthews, driving me absolutely crazy. He's been nothing but abusive and cruel towards me, and I've reached my breaking point. Can you believe it? A grown man like Matthews picking on a helpless and defenseless woman like myself? I don't know how much longer I can handle being in this marriage. Oh my goodness! Are you serious? My brother has been treating you abusively? I'm so sorry, Margaret. I had no idea. Honestly, my brother has never shown any signs of being that kind of person, you know? In fact, he's always been the role model that I've looked up to. I can't believe you're still trying to defend that abusive monster. Do you even see me as your sister-in-law anymore? Or do you actually want to witness your brother abuse me to the point of no return? I get it now. Matthews is your brother after all. As his sister, you're gonna blindly back him up, no matter how twisted and abusive he becomes. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, Margaret. Could you please just fill me in on what's really happening between you and Matthew? I promise you, if my brother has done something to wrong you, I'll stand by your side and help you seek justice. What's there to discuss? It's all crystal clear, plain as day. Your brother is nothing but a bully, violent and manipulative. He deserves nothing but the worst. Listen, I'll send you a picture of the bruises on my wrist so you can see just how awful that guy you call your brother truly is. Oh my goodness! Were those bruises caused by my brother? I can't believe it! I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, right. But believe me, these bruises are just the tip of the iceberg compared to what he's been doing to me throughout our entire year of marriage. What? What else has he done to you? Please, tell me every single detail. I want to know everything there is to know. Oh my goodness! Why do I have to endure so much pain? All I've ever wanted was to be a loving wife and a good mother. But what do I get in return? A heartless husband who has no qualms about hurting his vulnerable wife just to satisfy his sick desire for violence. I swear, Matthews even finds joy in tormenting me and our child. It's absolutely repulsive. Oh no, even Daniel? What has he done to my poor little nephew? Daniel is just a little kid. Yeah, you better believe your brother did something absolutely terrible to Daniel. He did every possible horrible thing to mistreat a child. Listen to this. The other day when you came home from work, I was completely worn out from taking care of Daniel all day. So, I suggested we go out to eat at a restaurant. But you know what Matthews did? He threw a tantrum at me, calling me a useless woman for not being able to handle something as simple as making dinner. And oh, how can I forget that harsh slap he gave me? I'm truly at a loss for words right now. I had no idea that my own brother could be capable of such wickedness. And let me tell you, what he did after that was even more selfish and downright disgusting. He locked the door, hid the key somewhere that I couldn't find, and went to bed, practically trapping me inside. So basically, Daniel and I went hungry until the next morning. Goodness. Matthews even stooped so low as to use violence and leave you and Daniel to fend for yourselves? Starving? I'm incredibly sorry that you had to endure such cruelty and mistreatment for a whole year. Why didn't you tell me about all of this earlier, Margaret? Of course not. Matthews never allowed me to tell you. That man is a sneaky one. Always pulling out of his bag of deceitful tricks to manipulate me and everyone around him into doing his bidding. He made sure I couldn't tell anyone else about his abusive behavior. He'd apologize and promise to change after every brutal beating he subjected me to. But guess what? He never changed, and his behavior only got worse. I'm sorry, but this is way beyond anything I can handle on my own. I believe it's time to involve the police in this matter. Don't worry, I've got your back. I'll even assist you with all the divorce procedures if it comes to that. The police? Do you really think it's necessary? Honestly, I'm just concerned about Daniel. He's so young. I can't even bear the thought of him growing up without a father. 
it's really painful for me as a mother to imagine. I understand that it can be tough for a child to grow up without a father. But it's better for that to be the case than for you to remain in an unhappy marriage with a violent husband. Listen, Linda, I really need you to understand where I'm coming from. I'm in a tough spot here, sis. If Matthews and I end up divorcing, I don't even know where I can find a place to call home. And on top of that, I don't have a job to rely on. How on earth am I supposed to support myself in this situation? It's really weighing on me, you know? Hey, don't worry yourself too much, all right? I'm here for you, and I promise I'll do everything I can to help you out. You know what? You can even stay at my house for a while until you find a job and sort out a new place. No need to stress about that. Here's a plan. Just give me a little time to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Matthews. I want to talk to him directly and get all the details on this situation. Please, please don't spill the beans to him about me opening up to you about his abusive behavior. If he finds out that I let it slip, he'll go ballistic and make my life a total nightmare. I'm begging you, keep it on the down low for the sake of my sanity. I totally understand your concern. And I want you to know that I won't utter a single word about what you shared with me. I'll approach him in a calm and composed manner, just like any normal conversation. Trust me, I have my own methods of uncovering the truth, and I won't do anything that might jeopardize your safety or well-being. All right then, I really need you to figure out a way to lend me a hand here. And I'm counting on you to have my back if it comes down to taking this whole mess to court. I'm feeling so freaking alone right now and powerless, and if you're willing to testify against your brother's cruelty, it could give me a major edge in the legal battle. In fact, having you as a witness might even boost the amount of compensation I can get from Matthews. So please, promise me you'll step up and support me through this. It would mean the world to me, sis. You know what, Margaret? I want you to know that if my brother ever mistreated you, I won't let him off the hook. I'll make sure he faces the consequences for his actions. You can trust me to handle this situation with care and sensitivity. I'm here for you, sis, and I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. Hey, big bro. Do you have a minute to spare? There's something really important I need to ask you about. Mind giving me a little bit of your time? Hey, Linda. Sorry for not getting back to your texts and calls. Work has been insane lately, you know? I've been pulling these crazy 12-hour shifts and, man, it's exhausting. But hey! You gotta hustle to make that dough. <laughs> Priorities, right? Hey, Matthews. I know this might come as a surprise, but I was wondering if it's possible for me to crash at your place for a few days. I understand if it's a bit last minute, but I really need a place to stay temporarily. What? You're saying you want to stay at my house? But why? You know, my house is a disaster right now due to some repairs going on. In fact, it's a total mess. I really don't want to inconvenience you, but I promise it would only be for a few days, tops. I just need a temporary place to crash until things get sorted out. And then I'll be back in my own house again. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. I'm sorry, but I don't think you can stay at my house. There are a lot of things going on here at the moment. Why don't you just rent a hotel or something? It's not a long time, is it? So it won't be a problem at all. Well, I completely get it. If you're not comfortable with me staying at your place, no worries, I won't push it. But hey, how about a quick visit instead? Can I swing by just to say hi and catch up? Why the sudden interest in visiting my place? Got tons of free time on your hands or something? I mean, what's the deal? It's kinda out of the blue, you know? What are you even talking about? You know how much I miss my adorable nephew Danu, right? Plus, I used to visit you all the time before you tied the knot. But lately, it feels like you've been finding excuses to keep me away. I just want to see how you and the family are doing, you know? Isn't that allowed anymore? It's like you've completely forgotten about your little sister ever since you got married. Seriously, Matthews, it hurts. I already said no, and I really don't want to repeat myself. Can we please drop it? Why did you raise your voice at me like that? Did I do something wrong? I'm just trying to understand what's going on here. Can you please explain? No, I'm sorry, sis. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. It's just that... 
I've been dealing with a lot of stress lately, mostly because of work stuff, you know? That's why I really need to carve out some time for myself to unwind and find some inner peace. I hope you understand where I'm coming from, Linda. Oh, okay. How about you and I meet up at a cafe and have a nice little chat? It doesn't have to be anything too fancy or time-consuming. Just a chance for us to catch up and spend some quality sister time together. Can you make time for that? Well, alright then. I guess I can squeeze in some time for a little chat. How about this Saturday at 9am? Does that work for you? Sure, let's meet up at that time. Hey, Margaret, do you happen to know where Matthews is at the moment? I've been trying to get in touch with him, but I can't seem to reach him. He said he was going to meet me today at 9am at the cafe near my place, but it's already 10 and he's a no-show. He didn't even give me a heads up that he wouldn't be able to make it. Any idea what's going on? Oh, Matthews? No need to stress. He won't be showing up. Actually, he's currently having a blast chilling in jail. What? Are you saying this for real? What happened? You got it. Think I got time to mess around? Nah, I'm dead serious. You know what that jerk did to me? He went and abused me again. That's why I had to do what I had to do and report that monster to the cops for domestic violence. And now he's locked up in jail. Oh, gosh. I'm really sorry. I had no clue. I was actually planning on talking to Matthews today and getting to the bottom of this whole violence situation. But could you please fill me in on what exactly happened that made you call the police on Matthews? I want to understand the whole story. I swear, your brother is totally insane. The other day, I asked him to stay for a few minutes and have breakfast with me and Daniel before heading to work, but he straight up said no way. You won't believe what he did next. He pushed me aside and dashed off, just like that. I ended up landing on my rear end like a sack of potatoes. But he didn't care the slightest about what happened to me after that. So tell me, do you think this kind of behavior is okay in any world? Honestly, I'm at a loss for words. I didn't even get a chance to hear his side of the story. Could you please let me know when Matthews is expected to be released? Well, sucks to say it, but he's going to be stuck in jail for only two days. Listen, just understand that I didn't want to do this, alright? I never wanted to put my own husband behind bars, but I had to do it to keep myself and our kids safe. Daniel's still a little kid, and he deserves a real dad. Not some violent man who's always ready to throw punches at his mom. Margaret, hear me out. If you're feeling like this marriage with my bro is just too heavy to handle, why not put an end to it? I promise, I'll lend you a hand with all the necessary procedures. No, Linda, here's the deal. I'm all about being a kind and forgiving wifey, so I'm gonna throw Matthews a bone and give him his final shot at redemption once he's out of jail. Hopefully, those two days will be enough for him to wake up see his mistakes, and step up as a better husband. Oh, all right then. As long as you genuinely believe it's the best call for you and Matthews, I respect your decision. Of course, I have no authority to dictate what happens in your marriage. My role is simply to offer some helpful advice. But no matter what you choose, please always put Daniel's safety and well-being first. It's crucial for him to grow up in a healthy, non-abusive environment. No doubt, Daniel is my number one concern. That's why I always hesitate when it comes to pulling the trigger on divorcing Matthews. I don't want my child to grow up fatherless. I've been there myself. And let me tell you, it's a real downer when your pops ditches your mom for someone else when you're just a wee little thing. Alright sis, I hear you. I genuinely hope that things start falling into place for you and Matthews real soon. Hey Matthews. Welcome home. So, tell me, what's it like in jail? I can't believe you were only there for two days, man. Now that you're back, why not head straight to the kitchen and whip up something tasty for me, huh? I'm starving like crazy right now. Margaret, you're driving me nuts. Why the heck did you dial up the cops on me? What on earth did I even do to deserve this? Huh? Don't even try to tell me you conveniently forgot what went down that day. You straight up abused me. You grabbed my arms and shoved me like a maniac. Count yourself lucky that you only got stuck in jail for two measly days. But mark my words, if there's a next time, I won't hesitate to call the cops again. 
and you can bet your bottom dollar you'll be kicked out of this house faster than lightning. Do you even have a clue why I had to go through all that? It's because you were going bonkers, totally crossing the line. You lost it out of the blue, hitting me around and preventing me from going to work. What was I supposed to do? Sit tight and let you have your way with me? No way! I had to stand up for myself, plain and simple. Whoa, whoa. Hold up there, tough guy. Look at you, all high and mighty, huh? Is this how a husband should be talking to his wife? You disgust me, Matthews. Shape up and start showing some respect. And maybe I'll cut you some slack. Don't push me to call the cops on you again, you scumbag. You know whose side they'll be on, right? It's always going to be my side, no matter what. All it takes is a few fake tears and a pleading voice, and BAM! You'll be guilty as charged. <laughs> You're seriously off your rocker, Margaret. Where's Daniel? Do you even bother to feed the poor kid while I was stuck away for those two days? Why should I care about that worthless kid? He's upstairs, probably knocked out in dreamland. I did toss him a little something to eat, just to shut his mouth. The brat wouldn't stop crying while you were gone, and it really got on my nerves. Honestly, I was this close to booting him onto the streets and letting him fend for himself. You better cut the crap with Daniel and me, or else it'll be your sorry ass getting locked up, not mine. And don't for a second think I'm clueless about your little cheating escapades. You've been sneaking around with some other dude behind my back, haven't you? Come clean and tell me everything. Yeah, I'm cheating on you with some other dude. So what? What's the big deal? I stopped loving you ages ago. So why should I bother being faithful to you? Obviously, I gotta find myself a man who's actually deserving of my time. You know what's funny? While you were enjoying your little jail vacay, my lover and I were having a blast in this very house we're living in. <laughs> Is there any limit to your shamelessness? Oh... I'm even considering having a kid with him. That way, Daniel will have a half-sibling and won't feel lonely anymore. So, what's your take on that brilliant idea? Sounds pretty good, huh? Enough with your nonchalant attitude about the affair. It's making me sick to my stomach. I've had it up to here with your abuse, Margaret. Ever since we married, you've turned into a completely different person. You're not the same anymore. It all started with you spreading bogus rumors about me, going around telling everyone that I'm mentally unstable. You'd swipe my stuff like my iPod, meds, personal journals, and then have the audacity to claim that my mental health was spiraling. You did everything in your power to crush my confidence and make me think I was the crazy one, rather than you. What are you even talking about? Of course you're the crazy one. I was just spitting straight facts, you know? I simply let everyone see your true colors. And that's not even where the abuse ends. Oh no. It's gone way beyond that, with you resorting to kicking, hitting, and even spitting on me. You've even stooped so low as to use Daniel as a pawn to trap me, threatening that I'd lose custody if I dared to divorce you. You want me to stick around so you can milk me dry, both emotionally and financially, am I right? Well, newsflash. I see right through your web of lies and deceit. You've turned into nothing but a monster, Margaret. What's with all these wild accusations? You want me to hit you with a defamation lawsuit or what? Why don't you take a good look in the mirror? You've turned into this dull, cranky old man whose whole life revolves around work, work, and more work. And I gotta say, it's mind-blowing how you bust your butt so much and yet bring in so little. Naturally, I had to find someone who can actually provide for me. It's called survival, my friend. Do you even have a clue why I have to work so much? It's because you're not pulling your weight and bringing in any money for the family. And what do you do with my hard-earned cash? You go splurging on pointless stuff and have the nerve to keep demanding I make even more money for you to blow through. Yeah, sure thing, loser. Keep talking all you want but nobody's gonna buy your story. Everyone's just gonna eat up my side of things, you know? Because apparently I'm this fragile and helpless little lady. <laughs> yeah, I'll own up to it. 
I made a real dumb move. I was on cloud nine when you broke the news about being pregnant with our child, and I jumped the gun to marry you. But now, I've come to my senses and seen that it was a colossal mistake. Listen, I've been taking your mistreatment for a whole year, but I can't take it anymore. It's time for it to come to an end. I'm taking the steps to file for divorce, Margaret. Our marriage needs to be put to rest. Oh, look who's trying to act tough, huh? Bring it on, you knucklehead. If you want Daniel ripped away from your grasp, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for an at-fault divorce and press charges against you for domestic abuse. Guess what? You'll end up losing custody of Daniel and shelling out a ton of cash for compensation, alimony, and child support. So yeah, go ahead and divorce me. But mark my words, I'll be the one having the last laugh. Hey, Matthews, get ready to get pummeled in court real soon. <laughs> you think it's still a man's world and us ladies have no say, huh? Well, guess what? Times have changed, and women's voices matter more than ever. Matthews, why the silence, you retard? You can't just leave my messages hanging like that. Don't worry, Margaret. Matthews is definitely heading to court. But guess what? This time, the tables have turned, and it's you who's in for a ride. Wait, hold up. Who's this? I'm not talking to Matthews right now. No, I'm his sister, Linda. It's just mind-boggling to think that my brother has been putting up with all that abuse from you, his own wife. But listen up. Things are about to take a major turn because we've all got the evidence required to press charges against you for domestic violence and neglecting your kid. It's time to face the consequences, Margaret. What kind of evidence are you blabbering about? Seriously, you're just kidding me, aren't you? Oh, please. Do I look like I have time to joke around with you? Absolutely not. Look, whether you've realized it or not, I actually went ahead and hired a private detective to trail you and gather evidence of your little affair outside of marriage. <laughs> That's the so-called evidence you're going on about? Pathetic. Like anyone gives a darn whether I'm having an affair or not? Do you honestly believe that's going to give Matthews any edge in our divorce trial? No chance in hell. Let me clue you in on something. I've got a video in my possession. It captures Matthews abusing both me and our child. He had the nerve to lay his hands on me, even grabbing my neck with his abusive and filthy fingers. So, which piece of evidence do you think holds more weight, huh? Hold your horses, Margaret. I'm not done talking yet. Guess what? The private detective even managed to record a revolting conversation between you and your lover, where you shamelessly bragged about abusing and manipulating Matthews like some sort of twisted accomplishment. It's absolutely sickening. What? You're just bluffing. Nobody's gonna fall for the nonsense you just cooked up on the spot. Keep dreaming, my dear naive Linda. A recording alone won't be enough to bring me down. Don't forget that I've got a video of Matthews getting physical with me. And trust me, that's more than sufficient to land his sorry butt in jail. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you mean half of the video? Huh? What do you mean by that? Stop playing dumb, Margaret. You're well aware of what really went down. You had the audacity to hold Daniel in your arms, threatening to drop him off the balcony. It was because of that vile act that my brother couldn't bear it anymore and took action to protect his child from you. I must say, it's truly sickening to witness the twisted depths your mind can sink to, concocting such a repulsive scheme. How the heck do you even know that? I made sure to edit that part out of the video. This is incredible. It can't be true. Oh, believe it or not, my detective had a chat with the folks managing the apartment where you're residing, and guess what? The entire incident got captured on their security cameras. But wait, there's more. Your neighbors are ready to step up and testify against you in court. It's game over, Margaret. Matthews is divorcing you and seeking compensation for all the physical and emotional suffering you've put him and Daniel through. You better start preparing your wallet because you'll be coughing up big time for the pain you've inflicted on your own family. So enjoy your freedom while it lasts, Margaret, because it's not going to be for long. What's all this, Linda? I'm seriously lost here. Are you saying... 
I'm going to end up behind bars? Please. Please tell me you're just messing with me, Linda. I can't possibly get arrested. I'm too young and pretty for that kind of mess. Oh, well, look at that. I didn't expect you to grasp the situation so swiftly. You bet your bottom dollar that not only will you be arrested, but you'll also be locked up in prison for your despicable crime, you deceitful witch. I hope you've got a treasure trove of convincing lies up your sleeve to defend yourself in court. But mark my words, it's all going to be in vain because I'm going to fight tooth and nail for justice until the bitter end. For the sake of my brother and my nephew, I'm determined to expose your true colors to the world and everyone will know exactly what kind of woman you truly are. During the trial, Margaret attempted to manipulate her way out of her crime, fabricating lie after lie in an effort to conceal her sinister actions. She shed tears and begged Matthews for forgiveness, but all she received in return was his icy indifference. The evidence against Margaret, clearly demonstrating her guilt, was undeniable. It turned out that she had always carried a patronizing and condescending demeanor towards those around her. This is why the neighbors didn't hesitate to step up and support Matthews. Eventually, Margaret had no choice but to plead guilty to the charges of domestic violence against my brother. Furthermore, she was compelled to provide him with a significant financial settlement as compensation. Following the divorce, Matthews was granted custody of Daniel. Witnessing him hold his son in his arms was truly heartwarming. The way my brother gazed at his child, tears welling in his eyes, is an image that will forever remain etched in my memory. I am genuinely relieved that justice was served, allowing Matthews to escape from an abusive marriage and look forward to a brighter and better future.